What's up you guys, it's your girl Mahogany and I'm back with another video for y'all. Another quick short video um, that I think might be resourceful, useful, uh, anybody that you know might look it up or so. So today I'm going to be talking about my very first truck driving job working at Coca-Cola because I did it. Um, they have different ones, um, you know, in different areas. I'm in North Carolina, and I was at the Fayetteville location at Coca-Cola because I'm dead. Um, so on my transition out of the military, the Army, I got my CDLs, um, license, you know, just in case, or, you know, if I did want to go into that field, because I did at the time, um, now I'm doing something completely different, but I still got them, uh, you know, manual, no restrictions. So I was good to go. I looked up uh, a lot of different jobs, a lot of different, you know, truck driving options, over the road, um, you know, tanker. Um, I tried, cause I even got endorsements too. So I was looking at a lot of different options. Um, I started out local cause I talked to my dad. He's uh, also been truck driving for I think maybe 20 years or so. He's been truck driving a long time. Um, and he told me I, it's better if I start local, so maybe I should try to look for a job like Coke or uh, Budweiser, uh, those kind of you know local delivery truck driving jobs. So I looked up Coke. Um, they at the time they were hiring people with or without CDL, um, so I already had mine, so I was good to go. So I applied actually. Honestly, I got an email like May at the. Honestly, I was still on the phone with my dad when I applied. As soon as he told me to, I did it. Um, so I'm still on the phone. I even got an email back like as soon as I sent in my application, um, so I can get set up with the interview and be seen. Um, so I got the interview. Went to the location um, and. I, I went in uniform. Um, I had my army uniform on because I was still in at the time. And plus, you know, you got to use what you got to get where you're going. You know what I mean? So, uh, I don't know if they would necessarily hire me if I just came in regular clothes because they don't really look like I would do some truck driving type of thing necessarily. But, um, you know, if you were prime military, it's believable. So, um, <laughs> I went, uh, went through the interview process. They told me about the different options, cool lift, tail cell, and bulk. Um, I ended up doing tail cell. Of course, um, I did want to do cool lift, and I'm, I'm gonna explain further a little bit more about what those options are. Cause cool lift, they work four days a week. Um, it's just a bigger trailer. The trailer is not the biggest trailer, but I believe the trailer trailer is like. 33 feet or it's not the longest one it's not the longest one that you can have um i don't remember the feet of trip but uh it's a good decent size it's like a beginner trailer like you know when you go to cdl school and um they you you start testing on how to park and uh, things like that it's more it's more like that size of a trailer so Cool Lift works four days a week. They get paid a little bit more than Tail Cell would because Tail Cell is five days a week, weekends off. And then Cool Lift, sometime you could work the weekend, um, but Sundays, everybody's always off. Um, so I did want to do Cool Lift, obviously, because I was like, oh yeah, four days a week, you know, but um, if I had to be truthfully honest, each position is a lot of work. Um, because it's very physically demanding. Um, I worked there a few months. I worked there just about four months or so. Um, mainly because it was quite physically demanding. And, um, you know, if I could, or which I did find another option for me that worked and I was able to still be, you know, financially stable and everything like that, um, I went ahead and, you know, went with that option. But, um, overall, it's definitely not, was not a bad experience. Um, the people, I would say, make up the job. 
the people always make up for wherever you work. That's what anything. Um, um, the supervisors were, you know, pretty helpful. Um, there was this one particular one that, you know, he was kind of like the, he was like the, mm, he was like the supervisor that everybody can depend on, you know, no matter what area it was in, whether it was both tail cell or cool live, cause he knew how to do everything. He knew was handling everything. And you know, he would always try to make sure he's available to help, especially like new people, um, even old people sometimes if he can, you know. Um, so it was it was really like worth you know, the push, um, because I, I had that that help, you know. Um and also you know, I was able to train stuff like that. So we trained about six weeks, six to eight weeks. Um, and then, you know, they try to get you on a route. Um, it wasn't too, it was, I grafted pretty quickly. I will say it wasn't too bad for me. About four weeks or so, I was able to pretty much understand everything and how to get where we're going and, you know, deliveries and, you know, the customers, stuff like that. Um, the handheld that we do use to check in, um, you know, the, how to delete things, uh, pick up old things and, um, stuff like that. So it's, um, it's not too difficult, but it can become tedious when it comes to the customer. Um, if let's just say if they need something taken off because the price is not, uh, what it was before because, you know, the prices do change as the economy changes, things like that. Um, or, you know, having to pick up credits, uh, which is basically old uh, product that either expired or is damaged, um, things like that. And then also the amount of pallets that you might have on a truck, because Cool Lift would have, on a light day, you can possibly get 10 pallets, which is great. But on most days, you're looking at 20, to I think the max is 26 that's what the most they'll put but I think the max is like 30 but the most they'll put is like 26 yeah it, it'll have a lot of pallets and I mean 26 sounds like a small number but when it's a pallet full of product you know one pallet full of product and you got 26 of them the truck is full so um there's that and then tail sale which I did I mean, well, that ended up being my main thing because I did train on Cool If and I did also train on Tail Cell. Um, I didn't, I never trained on, trained on Bulk, um, but that is, Bulk drivers don't have to necessarily work the stops um, that they have. It's more like a, you know, you just drop it. Um, you know, you, you pack a jacket, you drop it off, you know, you check in, that kind of thing. They don't necessarily have to work it, but with Cool If and Tail Cell, you do have to work stops um tail cell it was more like the trailer was more like the side doors that slide up on both sides and it was also it was a smaller trailer i think the trailer was like 16 feet or something like that it wasn't it wasn't that wasn't that long um it was probably the shortest one they had um that one is it can hold about you can have like 400 cases so it's not in pallet they don't count in pallet they count it in cases um but 400 cases and i think i don't even think that's the max they can put on there 400 cases of product is a heavy day <laughs> so like that's a heavy heavy day on a great day you can have 150 um you know that's a light day that's a good that's that's like that's heaven right there um once it get i think under a certain number I think if it's like one, if it's a certain number, like a hundred something, they won't, they just will cancel it out and they'll add it to another truck. So sometimes that does happen. Um, but yeah, for the most part though, the job was, the best thing about the job was really the people that I work with, if I had to be honest. Um, other than that, it is very physically demanding. But it is a great starter job, I will say, because it is local. 
you will be home every day. That's a plus too. And you do get your experience. So, you know, um, also too, you do, you might have to like wait on different um, routes to become available. Like let's just say you come in and you wanna do bulk, but right now, cool if it's available, um, they might throw you there just until something else opens up. Not to say like you can't do this, but you know, it's just not available because somebody else is working there. Um, but overall, I will say if I had to like go back to a trucking job, uh, which I don't plan on doing, um, I would go back to Coke. Um, it was not like the worst like, experience I ever had. It just was highly physically demanding and um, for a female, you know, it was a lot, but I was I was able to handle it. I'm not gonna make it seem like you know I couldn't push through or nothing like that because I did, um, and I did for a few months. So, you know, but uh, this is I just kind of wanted to give you you know a little a little short insight on how it was or you know like the different small little different things about the job um also too uh i will say the customers that you do deliver to can also play a hand in the job and how things are gonna go um they do play a big bit a big hand in that you know with the check-in process and putting up the product picking up empty crates uh picking up credits if you have to things like that how many stops you have a day because you could have between the max is usually like a good 12, 16. That's like, that's not the max, but that's like an average. And I think the max was like 22 or 25. That's a lot of stops. That is a lot. But like the average, you got like 16. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's like, a, that's an average day. But like 10 stops, that's a light day, you know. But it all makes more sense if you work there and then you get into the job and then you know you understand what I'm saying about the stops, the routes, different positions, um, things like that, the different trucks that you can drive and all that good stuff. But um, there are similar companies like Mountain Dew, uh, Budweiser, or uh, Pepsi, places, companies like that, that have local like trucking job opportunities. They're always available. Um, I will say because of the physical demand so it's a great start job um, but if you do have any like questions or concerns or you know you just want to like get a little bit more detail you can definitely comment down below and I will respond um, I just hope this you know gave you a little bit more insight on somebody that's also looking to work at this um at the you know at that local truck driver job and uh i do appreciate you guys for watching the video and i hope it was informative enough till next time